So that's one of the things I've, you know, at first when I saw it, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. Not having the black curtains up and being able to see the entire the entire room. But yeah. you know what? By day three, I really dig it. Yeah, it's, it's super open. Uh, usually you don't get to see the crowd, like, and they can look back at you, right? I know, Sometimes right? I'll see the crowd just looking at me while I'm popping off, and I'm like, oh, don't, don't do not perceive. <laughs> <laughs> Normally we're hidden behind black curtains, you know, back here with production. There, There is that gap between us and the audience, but it's nice to be able to feed off their energy and see them getting excited for the game as well. All right, so... Winners finals coming up here. Taco FL versus Tenured Mule. This will be three out of five. I'm super excited how this is going to turn out. Um, both players have been playing insane. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And Hitman Troubleshooter is a match that we've been seeing since the dawn of time. Uh, for sure. But, you know, even though they're in winner's side, I'd be scared to be sent down to losers, right? You don't want to be in Gone Mad's path. That man is playing with a purpose here and trying to bulldoze through loser's side. So Taco versus Tenure Mule here, you know, just trying to decide who can make their way further on in the winner's side of this bracket. Yeah, and especially, you know, I, I was talking about yesterday, but like the changes to Troubleshooter, where it, they're essentially kind of like a different kind of Hitman in the fact that Awakening is so scary. You get options to so much damage when you're in Awakening. And you get to, you know, play that same shenanigans of going for the DP into the follow-up. Will I do it? Will, will I go into the follow-up and go for conversion? Arguably scarier than Hitman in Awakening, I would say, because he gets more options. Yeah. Compared to Hitman, Hitman's kind of a one-trick pony when it comes to will he or will he not shatter strike, right, in Awakening. But <laughs> like you said, when it comes to Troubleshooter, he gets all these different options, right? The shotgun gets buffed. The DP gets buffed. Everything gets buffed. Here we go, round start. Tenya Mule already taken to the sky, but Taco gonna go for the Hellbreaker loops. Yeah, already big started with some very high damage here. Gonna detonate the mine. Gonna set up the mine drink up. Oh, an early DP here from Tenured Mule. Nice roll through on the grenade too. Let the DP rip. Able to get a nice hit here too to get that knockdown. Yeah, that 5M reaches so far here with on Hitman. But jump back grenade. Definitely playing, you know, they're feeling each other out right now. Don't go for anything too crazy. No, but we do get the net set up mid-screen so we can't go for that pressure. Empty jump low. I like the idea, but the guard can comes up from Tenure Mule. Yeah, playing very, you know, very uh deep mid-range. Like almost out of oh. range. No! You jumped! What? You jumped! No way that hit. He landed. Did you just land? I I need an instant replay. I need to see. Did we already commit to grenade and we landed in recovery? That's, Is that what happened there? I, I think so. I, I wasn't sure because that was almost max range already jumping back, but it still yeah. hit. But there we go. Taco, not phased here. Going to keep it moving. Yeah, because if you do throw out the grenade, you have a little bit of recovery depending on where you throw it in the air, right? When you hit the ground, just what a reaction from Tenyo Mule. Still Taco putting on the pressure here, putting Tenyo Mule in the corner. But he's already kind of bled himself dry too with the drinks. There's the overhead. Oh, you're dead. No, one more. We want to make sure. Yeah, Wicked might not have killed there. The poke out with the 2A. And Taco fired right back. 1-1 one, one on the rounds. Yeah, very rare you see the full Rekka string there from uh, from Troubleshooter, right? It's really only if it's going to kill. All right, the 5A. The range is good. No, the run up weight is the 2A. They got a little 2 and 2 there on the defense. All right, rolling out of the corner. And I like taking the opportunity when the opponent goes for a neutral jump there, just to let the roll rip. Fortunately, though, coast to coast is where you're going to be sent, and now you're right back between a rock and a hard place. Ooh, the back dash, the 2S catch. Kenyon Mule on a perfect, my goodness, the clean combo is coming out here. Yeah, closing out game number one. But remember, this is winner's finals, so it's a little bit of an extended set, three out of five. Yeah, I love that option too, using 2S as a poke because you do get a kind of a bigger reward than if you had press uh, 2A there. Absolutely, but there's that 6S coming out. Oh, nice, the link after the final strike. Cashed out the damage, and now we're seeing, you know, the kind of different routing here. You can't go for the whip. Nice. Disgusting, I got hit, right? Yep. I got hit, mm -hmm. I was about to say the different layers you could do off of that, but definitely showed it off before I could even say it. <laughs> Here we go, Taco already answering back. We'll be put into awakening the next drink that we take here. There it is. 
Now we have the buffs. This is where we get even scarier. The damage, you're, you're in one touch kill range. <laughs> oh, try to swing, converge to stay safe. That grenade will definitely would have hit. Taco could just kind of fish for a hit right now. They have a lot of bar to work with the DP right through, and there we go. We are going straight to having a good time. Absolutely. This is my favorite awakening of the game. I mean, it, it is very iconic. I love it. But he, why is he looking at you? He's just got the, the hand over the eyes, too. <laughs> a little too bright, even though he's got the shades on. Oh, it, you know, I respect it. Troubleshooter of mana culture. Oh, but chasing down, closing the distance with that 6S. Look at the amount of white damage here on the side of Taco. Getting hit here would be a disaster. I'm sorry. <laughs> Commentators curse. You love to hate, you love and hate to see it. But picking it right back up. The rising jump. B don't hit the low this time. There's too many options off that in one situation. So scary here. Trying to cash out 2 and 4 M. Can go 2 B into Caracol. And that should be enough. Tendered Mule. So clean. Very, very great here from Tenure Mule, trying to get it up that in that 2-0 lead, forcing Taco in a tough situation where you would have to make a reverse 3-0 is going to be huge. That crazy air-to-air -air combo here into the corner, too, into that same setup. Look at this. All right, trying to go for the low pressure there at the end. Fade back into nothing, right? Trying to fade something out there from Tenure Mule. Taco's been going for a lot of those jump back grenades. Ooh, drink up. That should be a lot of damage. Oh, faking out the last hit of the record to try and get Tender Mule to flinch. I love the idea. Yeah, not going to be enough to kill here, but does get the setup. Try to bait something out. Nice, just goes for the grab. I love it. 1-1, one, one, all right, huh? I'll drink to that. <laughs> Indeed. And yeah, no sip this time coming out from Taco. The rare, the rare sober troubleshooter. <laughs> Oh, he's drinking water, staying hydrated. It is hot yeah. here in Daytona. It's just water. <laughs> just like Jamie's got tea, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Helmbreaker loops coming. Oh, no. We go for the net loops. We're going optimal, all right? Oh, the pressure to conversion to keep the mix going. Conversion to stay safe from the mine that was still there. Pulling out the gun. Shotgun straight to the face. That's his boomstick. Oh, and the run up grab. It looks like we, you know, we're on the next layer. We're no longer baiting grab, we're just going straight into him. You see, Taco is starting to feel himself too. But Teddy Mule answering back. Empty oh, low. Oh, oh. Even got the fake out there as well with the frame. So it's, it's unblockable. The, the fake out is unblockable. We're going to get put in the same situation here. Nice block, and then the counter cook after the 2A. Helmbreaker again. Yeah, we want to try to carry as fast as we can. Set up the net. Whoa! What a 5A press. Okay, Tenure Mule. I see you. Her oh. foxes. Good lord. Got the drink in anyway. The DP. Oh, this will be a lot of damage, Jobber. Can't play footies in my DNA tool. <laughs> oh, trying to go for that overhead there with the J. A. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Not again. Okay, this time we did not commit to Ooh! the grenade. And 2-1 now for Taco. Trying to go for the same situation, but you know what? Fool me once, shame on you. You ain't gonna fool me twice, all right? Yeah, I, I love the fact that just went for it. Just in case, Teddy Mule would have pulled it out there. All right, great start for Taco. Drank up, and to get a little bit of damage here in the corner, gonna catch it out in the corner off this. Oh, cheers. I'll cheers for that, man. Oh, faking out the overhead this time. I actually like that decision a lot. Taco's been consistently going for that conversion JA for the overhead. Unfortunately, does get put in the corner. Wasn't able to really capitalize at all. Yeah, kind of sneaky stuff there. Getting that uh, back grab off the Caracol plus frames. <laughs> Rushing on in just to the tip of 5B range. Oh, and there you go, the grab. Not right. enough. So scary here too. Both players in awakening. DPs through your DP. That's what I like to see. Taco sitting at set point. Yeah, just definitely was like, I'm gonna react. Whatever you do, I'm pressing this. <laughs> if I see anything move on this character. So don't do it. 
Oh my gosh, layering in the weight here. Trying to go for a tech, probably. And the empty low again. Tenya Mule putting in the reset. Great blocks though from Taco, recognizing the overhead was coming. It's not the 5M, trying to hit a counter hit here. Oh, nice! Oh, a little bit too far though. Unfortunate, but able to set up the grenade to prevent Tenure Mule from aggressing. A little bit too high, but look at the 2A afterwards. Oh man, we are getting and see. Hakla trying to jump there. Tenure Mule gets the air to air. Gonna keep it going with the OTG. Absolutely. A boomerang time. Let's go. Tenure Mule getting a round up on the board now, trying to take us to a game five here in this winner's finals. Yeah, staying in it. I love the adaptations here. Kind of taking a little bit more to Taco, not letting Taco kind of get mind set up. Yeah, I really like the way that Tenure Mule is starting to adapt here, right? Playing around Taco's mind games. There's the knockdown. Fading out the Ooh. DP and getting the punish just a little too far away for the follow up, but we still do get to catch Taco, getting a little desperate there with the press. And we are definitely showing off very specific spacings here. Nice whip and goes to the overhead again. All right, Tenny Mule cooking up a perfect here. Just needs to find one more interaction. It's gonna be real close. Not enough. Oh, DP is blocked. But we do get Cliff chasing right on in and closing the gap with the 6S. Ooh, these are real tense. It is really coming down to just one bad decision. These players are playing out of their minds right now. With the 5M, yeah, this wasn't a counter hit, so no crumple. Yeah, but the punish still is going to be respectable damage here. Great spacing for Tenure Mule. And now really starting to just take control of the pace of the matchup here. It's been a few rounds since Taco has really been able to get any pressure started. Ooh, nice. Able to leak off of that too. Yeah, Tenure Mule is getting very hard reads and, you know, getting with starters that are very high damage. And that was just three hits, and that's a perfect. A perfect KO. Set point for Tenure Mule. About to cash his ticket into Grand Finals winner's side. Yeah, the way that Tenure Mule's really been playing around the ranges here. From top has been so good, the instant DP. Oh yeah, trying to catch that roll last time, but a little bit too late this time. All right, there's the conversion. Trying to check with the 5A again, but we got a little too greedy with that roll. Taco, so patient, ready for it. And now time to answer back. There we go, drinking up, has to, yeah, hold that nice, double overhead blocked. Oh, fade back, late grenade also. Yeah, get that run up to be not enough just yet, but that mindset is gonna be very strong here. Gonna try and bait something out. Actually, wait a sec, we have one more mine. Oh, we got the loop. No, but he's able to tech out. No challenge, very smart. There's the DP, just a little too far away. Six S confirmed. You're dead. This You're is dead. So unfortunate. No. no! Oh! Oh! Yeah, the DP. Are you He's serious? Like, are you kidding me? The whip, <laughs> the whip OTG, and just letting the DP rip the panic. DP wins out in the end. Tenure deal moving on to grand finals with a. Uh, a hell of a spaghetti situation there at the end. Oh my goodness, you could definitely feel the tension from both players there. Anything could have happened there, and 